Hello students and parents, this is Miss Moran. Welcome to your video tutorial on how to set up a Brain Pop Junior free trial and to how to activate it, as well as watch a Brain Pop Junior video. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up a web browser to a Google. This is my Google page, and in the Google search category, you're going to write type Brain Pop <coughs> Junior. Okay, and then you can hit search, and it should be your first result on top, so you're going to click right onto that. And then it'll bring you to the Brain Pop Junior website. Okay. So now that we're at the Brain Pop Junior website, if you look on the bottom, there is a section down here. And you'll see it says trial. We're going to click on the word trial. And it's going to bring you to a new screen. Now on this screen, they're going to ask you a couple questions and you have to fill some things in, but just follow along and you will be fine, okay? So the first thing it says is, I'm interested in exploring Brain Pop 4A. If you click, you're going to click, you're going to select Home and click Continue. Okay, and then you have to come up with a username. The username could be anything like a pet's name, your last name, and a couple numbers. Um, so I'm going to just put in Moran02 Roosevelt. Okay, and the password, we'll just pick Roosevelt. And first name, I'm going to put in my first name. And last name. And then email address. Miss Moran Roosevelt O2 at gmail.com. And it's going to ask you to confirm. So you just have to type it one more time. Okay. All right. The next one is country. We live in the USA. So we're going to click that. Click that. State. You're going to go down to New Jersey. Click there. Then student grade is grade two, so you just have to highlight that. And then it says referred by, you're going to click teacher. Okay. And then the old tricky code that they give you, you're going to type that in. So I'll type mine in here. Okay. And then you're going to click submit. Okay, so it says you're almost done, which you are almost done with setting up your free trial. And now you have to go and you have to open the email account that you just gave to Brain Pop. Okay, so make sure it's the same one. Um, it could be in your spam folder, they say, so you always have to be careful and look there. Okay, so I'm going to go into my email here. And you can see here I have Brain Pop free trial activation email. I'm going to click on that. And then when you come down and you look, they go, they give you a web address to click on, and that's going to um, bring you back to Brain Pop, and that's going to activate your actual free trial. But also, if you look here on the bottom, it does give you a reminder of what you used as your username and your password. Okay, so I'm going to click here on the link to activate your free five-day trial that is now active. So remember, this is only for five days. This is not an, a free account. It's a free trial. All right, but if you do notice right here, you see it says Brain Pop. That's actually, Brain Pop is for fourth grade up. So we're, we want Brain Pop Junior. So you can either click here where it says Brain Pop Junior, or you can also go all the way to the bottom where it says Junior K through three. So we're going to click on that, and it's going to bring you back to the screen that you started on. Okay, so now we have to log in. It's going to ask us for our username and password. So let's remember, if you didn't remember what it is, you can always go back here. Username. I'm going to copy mine. Okay. Enter. And then enter your password. And click go. Okay, so now you see that it says log out, 
and that's how you know you are now logged in to brainpopjr.com. So that's the end of setting up your actual trial. So now it's for the student's homework, okay? Our homework is to watch the Brain Pop Junior video about the scientific method. In class, we are going to start using the scientific method for our science fair project. So I want the students to be um, aware of what the scientific method is and what steps are involved. So here we go. Again, you're on the BrainPopJr.com website and there's a couple ways to get to the scientific method video. The first and easiest way to do is up here and search, click inside the search box and type in scientific and then you can see it goes right down here, scientific method, just click on that and click go. Okay. Another way you could do it if you want to, if that's not working for some reason, you can always click here on science. Science notebook. Okay. And then right here, science skills. And then up here into scientific, scientific method. method. And now you are at the actual web page where you are going to watch the video. Um, your, your child is probably very familiar with this website because we use it at school and um, they probably will be able to <clears throat> help you navigate around. But the first important thing that you, I want you to do is to watch the video. There's different sizes and if you go here to movie size, click on that. This is the smallest. You can watch it a little bit larger or you can watch it as full screen. So whichever way you would like Print to watch it. Print the notebook questions. Ooh. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to watch the movie. So if you click here, play movie, or if you click here, play movie, it is going to start the movie for you, which are right here. That's Annie and Moby. And they're going to go through the steps of the scientific method. They make it fun, they make it interesting, and the kids love it. Um, after the students are done watching the video through, if you come back to this screen, the original, um, the original page for the scientific method movie, if you go here, you see easy, easy quiz. quiz and hard, hard quiz. quiz. The students love to take those quizzes. If you click on them, you can either print it out or you can take the quiz online. We always take it online and then ask you the questions and your answers. There's five questions for each. So the kids can do that. Again, they do not have to. And another useful page is the word wall page. This is great because the students don't exactly have to read the words that are on there. If you, Hypothesis. If you see, if you <clears throat> just put your cursor over the, the word, it actually reads it to you. If you click on that, what you think will happen based on what you know. You see it actually reads the definition to you. If you click again, it'll bring you back to the front. Okay, so these are the five most important words that came from the video. Back to the page, and that is really it. The students should be set after watching the video, and like I said, they can complete the quizzes, they can look at the word wall words and study them, but really what I want them to be familiar with is the steps of the scientific method so that when they come to school they will be prepared to use the scientific method for our science fair project. Okay, good luck and as always if you have any questions just email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.